What's up people from Rock and today we have finally the Infantry Commander leaks and we hope this is true. Um, let's take a look at it at first. We see a smite damage factor 2250. Ooh, that's nice. What's smite? Well, we see that later. Um, that's quite a lot of... well, it's an average damage factor, okay? And the targets get hit 40% march speed reduction for 3 seconds, which is pretty awesome. Um, but further, we have no really defense reduction or that sort of reduction. Second skill, we gain 20% defense. If this commander's troops contain only infantry units, it gains 20% march speed, which is good, and takes 20% less skill damage. Wow, that's a pretty tanky second skill. It's good, I guess. 20% skill damage reduction is quite a solid amount. Uh, march speed is good for the open field to run around so this is an awesome skill um, but I'm not yet too surprised or it's not that li like it's not like you think it's insane yet so we need to see the other skills um, let's see the third skill Ooh, infantry units led by this commander gain 20% increased attack when fighting other troops which is not a lot uh, whenever the troop launches a normal attack, it has a 25% chance to deal additional smite damage to the target, damage factor 300. Hmm, cooldown 5 seconds, so 25% chance, 5 seconds, that's around 20% chance of 300 damage factor. Uh, okay, what is this? It's just 20% attack and like 300 damage factor every 4 or 5 seconds. This feels feels weird. Does the smite description do anything? Let's see in the next skill. This commander's troops deal 10% more normal attack damage while on the map. That's nice. Whenever their troops deal smite damage, there we go. It reduces the damage dealt by the target troop by 10%. For the next three seconds, cool down five seconds. So when you use the smite, you have ten percent damage reduction for the enemy for three seconds. That's basically what this skill says, and you gain ten percent more normal attack. Is that correct? Well, I think that's correct. Uh, still not too of an insane commander. I'm not. I'm not so really sure. This is the open field commander. It hmm, it looks quite niche. It, it doesn't look the best for now. But we need to see the expertise skill. Um, it it sort of reminds me of Alexander the Great in some way. Um, chances of getting damage smite damage or other damage the expertise skill new skill whenever this commander's troops launch a normal attack while on the map it has a 25% chance to launch an extra normal attack oh so you can have two in one turn and we all know the white numbers consist of two things a normal attack and a counter attack so basically you can have two normal attacks once every four turns if it's 25% so that deals like 50% bonus I guess on the white number and it's normal attack not counter attack so it's only to the enemy you target well I don't know what to think of this commander because it doesn't look too insane um, I, I think maybe Lilith messed up again and I, I don't see I don't think this commander is very OP yes it might be anti-swarm but it's not counter-attack so no um, well I'm, I'm not too happy with it was it AoE though? well I need to check that back it was if it was AoE it's still still okay yeah, okay, let me see. Yeah, yeah, it's AoE, five targets, which is quite insane. An arc? Arc is a circle? No, it's not a circle. Well, um, my opinion on this commander is, I don't know, we need to see the testing. Um, 
We also don't know if this is legit or not. It really looks like it. We don't know. Um, I'm really curious for the next commander, that is the rally commander, which we will get the garrison. Uh, I hope you like it. See you later. Like and subscribe. Bye.